Hey, good morning, y'all. It is 8.02 in the morning. Um, I'm on my way to pick up our Walmart uh, pickup order. I spent almost $200 on groceries this week. I did get a couple non-food items, and I'll show you guys those. Um, so again, I... I should just stop telling y'all that I'm going to be doing things <laughs> because obviously I'm not going to Target today. Um, I'm not going to Aldi today. I really still want to do that. It's just with it being like, you know, 40 minutes away, it just kind of is an ordeal to do it. It's, you know, something I have to kind of plan on. And after such a hectic week this week, I thought, mm, I'm just going to order grocery pickup get our groceries it'll be so much easier um yeah so that is what i am doing oh so let's see um so oh and the chili cook-off is today it starts in about two hours actually but i told my husband i said i want to go a little later maybe around lunchtime don't really feel like eating chili for breakfast um you know, I'm pretty sure, obviously, I mean, I know there's other things to do there, um, but I was like, chili at 10 o'clock in the morning is just not something that I am thinking is a good idea, um, so anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna do that today, and I'll probably vlog a little bit of that, um, and throw that in somewhere in a video, um, Here's the high school football field. There's nobody out there this morning. Um, let's see. What else? I don't even know what to talk about, y'all. My life is so boring. I work and I do grocery shopping. <laughs> um, I wanted to do like a meal plan uh, video. I'm just not sure when I'm going to have the time to do that. I do plan our meals every week. Um like a little menu as far as dinner goes. I don't usually plan breakfast or, ugh, this road. I don't usually plan breakfast or lunch um, most of the time because I'm just, I'm not home, you know, to, to do any of that stuff. Um, but I do always plan our dinners, like our weekly dinners. I try to plan like a week ahead of time. Um, so I might throw that into this video when I do, um, when I talk about the groceries that I got and what we're actually using the groceries for. So, <clears throat> what else is going on? That's about it. The chili cook-off and groceries. That's what we're doing today. That's what's happening. No other plans. Um, chili cook-off is actually down there. I really want to stop at Dunkin' Donuts this morning, you guys. Probably am not going to, because I'm going to drive past it here in a minute. Um, but I do really want to stop at Dunkin' Donuts this morning. I just had Dunkin' Donuts yesterday, though, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to be good have to be good. Spend $200 on groceries. Um, you know, and there's only three of us living in our house. Sometimes I wonder, like, how I end up spending so much money on groceries, but yeah. This is, like, a perfect time to go pick up groceries. I noticed that the app, I don't know if you guys have tried Walmart pickup. If you guys haven't tried Walmart pickup, I'm going to leave a link down below um, with a referral code. If you guys use my referral code, um, you can get $10 off your first order. That is only if you've never um, done the pickup before. And I'll actually get a little incentive too. I think it's like I get $10 off too. It's like a promo code. Um, but anyway, I noticed that now if you guys have done Walmart pickup. Is this like a new thing with the app where it tells you when you're picking your time slot to go pick up your groceries? It actually had like um, which times were less busy, I think. And I want to say it said like less busy on it. Um, so 8 o'clock in the morning apparently is less busy. And so is noon. Um, 
I'm assuming that's because nobody wants to get up and go early to get their groceries on a Saturday. Um, and then noontime, of course, is lunchtime, so a lot of people are probably eating lunch um, instead of going to pick up their groceries. But I just thought that was neat that it said, you know, less busy. That way I could choose a time that, you know, would still work for me, but would be less busy. Um, you know, my Walmart really is not that bad, though. They've always been really efficient. Um, you know, I've never really had to wait any longer than like two or three minutes for them to come out and get my groceries and stuff in the car. So my Walmart has been really good with that. I've never had, I've never um, had a problem with them. Um, and in fact, I've never heard anybody, you know, cause I watch everybody's, I love grocery hauls. So I watch everybody's grocery hauls and I have never heard anybody complain about Walmart being, you know, slow with their pickup, um, program or whatever, but I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was neat that that was on there. I don't know if that's a new thing, but I have never seen it before. So to me, it's new. All right, guys. Well, anyway, so I'm going to hop off of here. I'm going to get our groceries. I am almost to the Walmart get our groceries and then I will show you guys what we got all right guys so this is our giant Walmart grocery haul I'm gonna go ahead and get started here we got these duster refills these are just the Walmart brand ones some bread for Jackson these croissants we always buy those a pack or a three pack of gum some taco seasoning I don't know why I got gluten-free but there you go uh, two boxes of the snickerdoodle cookie mix these Pioneer Woman bowls. I've been wanting these. Uh, this big bag of Child's Play and Candy. It's just a mixed bag. And then we got the good stuff too. So we went ahead and got a bag of the um, good candy bars. Uh, we're going to have meatball subs for dinner tonight. So we got these rolls. And then I got two packs of the flour tortillas. These are just the soft taco tortillas. Um, a jar of traditional pasta sauce. Eggnog. I would not recommend that one, though. It's not very good. Um, some fruit punch and some milk. Launchable for Jackson, of course. The taco dinner kit. Um, we like those stand and stuff ones. This Pyrex um, two-piece casserole dish. Dishes, excuse me. Uh, two things of the Jimmy Dean regular sausage for our breakfast burritos. A thing of cottage cheese for myself for work. Some butter. I got a large jar of pumpkin pie mix. This is just the easy one. Um, some provolone cheese. This kielbasa. I like to have one of these on hand in the freezer. They're easy to thaw out. I got a pack of eggs. Some bacon, of course. I must be craving red meat. Um, so I got some burger for our tacos. I got a chuck pot roast. This looks really good for uh, Mississippi pot roast. And then I got these thin cut um, ribeye steaks. Those look really good. We're going to have those for dinner tomorrow. I got a bag of mandarins, even though I ordered clementines, but that's okay. I got this pack, a uh, little snack pack for Jackson. A bag of carrots for Jackson. A lean cuisine, of course, for me for work. And another box of Hot Pockets for work. Thing of bananas for my husband, uh, another pepperoni pizza, these fruit snacks for Jackson, he likes the berries and cherries. I got four cans of the beef broth because for some reason I never have beef broth on hand. Um, some cinnamon applesauce for Jackson, this bag of meatballs for our meatball subs tonight, a cucumber, some brussels sprouts. Uh, these little Fig Newton snack packs. And then this big bag of the snack bag chips. That is it, you guys. I'll put the full price here and here somewhere. There's my husband ignoring me. There you go, guys. That's it.